Many people are also comparing it with the old pension scheme. In this video, we will understand the four key differences between the unified pension scheme and the old pension scheme that every employee should know. Hello and welcome to Z Business. My name is Charu Agrawal. Recently, the Modi government launched the unified pension scheme, which is being said as a significant improvement over the national pension scheme. Both UPS and OPS provide pensions to government employees, but the calculation methods differ. Under UPS, the pension is calculated as 50 percentage of the average basic salary over the last 12 months before retirement. In contrast, OPS calculated the pension as 50 percent of the basic salary for the last month of the service. Therefore, if an employee is promoted shortly before retirement and their salary increases, they may receive a lower pension under UPS compared to OPS due to the 12 month average calculation. According to AINS similar to the NPS employees must contribute 10% of their salary under UPS however the government's contribution has increased to 18.5% up from 14% in OPS no contributions were required from employees meaning they received a pension without any deductions from their salary UPS provides a lump sum payment at retirement calculated as 1/10th of the basic salary and DNS allowance for every 6 months of service. This lump sum does not affect the monthly pension amount. This is an improvement over OPS where the lump sum received at the retirement would reduce the monthly pension amount. UPS guarantees a minimum pension of rupees 10000 per month for those who have worked at least 10 years in a government job in comparison the current maximum pension after 10 years of service as per the government's pensioners portal is rupees 9000 per month for more such videos keep watching zee business